Hi and welcome to another video and today I'm going to be a little bit different here while I've been reviewing the Viper Mini which is due out end of this week I've also been looking into the liftoff distance issues and a lot of people have reported this with the PMW 3359 sensor so we're going to compare that today against the 3360 in the Air 58 and the Hero sensor in the GU Pro Wireless I'm going to use some DVDs here I've got four of them, don't judge my taste this is the only DVDs I could find and then my parents and we're going to use these to use the rocket jump ninja method here and then show you what the lift off distance is on each of these mice and why this would affect you when you're gaming and whether we can find any resolutions to this using a few tips at the end of the video around things that people have said to me and also what I've found as well looking around the internet. So let's take a look. So we're going to start with two DVDs. If you've not seen this method before, you should do right now. You basically put two DVDs down on a pad like so. We take the mouse where you can see the cursor. See my cursor here. And basically you can see it moving with the Air 58 here, put it onto the DVDs so the sensor's between them, a little bit of a lift off and now you see it doesn't move. Moves, doesn't move, so it's got a low lift off distance. That stops it jumping around when you're repositioning your mouse and you're moving and repositioning and you lift up, cause a bit of jitter or movement in the actual position of where your cursor was left. I drain a lift and some people do and this is what, what this is why it will affect you. So GPO wires, working on one DVD as well no movement in the sensor so again low lift off distance these are on default so far so good Viper Mini it's working on the mice and there you go you can see it's moving put it back on works you can see it has an issue straight away the lift off is already still registering on one DVD we'll take two DVDs the light between the oceans, oh my days, <laughs> another space one, so it still works, two DVDs, you can see it's still, still moving here, you see that? So what I realised here is I also want to try three DVDs, so I've got two Despicable ones, so we're going to try that just to see, I'm expecting it not to register here, but let's just try three DVDs. So it's between two DVDs and three lift off so how can we fix this so what we can do is there is a tape method so you get a brown piece of tape or some tape and you can place it over the sensor here i place it just in front of the dot cat filming just in front of the dot here and you can see still tracks okay on two dvds it's certainly reduced it. It's still moving slightly. There's nothing, nothing like it was doing. So it's definitely an improvement. Got onto one DVD here. You can see it's still in tracking issues. To be fair, it's not as smooth as it should be. So it's certainly helping reduce that lift-off distance. So the other option is within Synapsis, you can go to Calibrate. You can pick a surface here, you can add a surface. Now I'm using a Glorious Helios here, so the Razor doesn't give me the option to pick that. So I'm just gonna use something like a Firefly hard pad. Click Calibrate. And then now you can set the liftoff distance, or liftoff range as they call it here on the side, which you can't do standard on the Viper. You only get it when you add in a custom pad here. So what we can do now is test this. So with two DVDs, let's see. We've got it on the highest setting here. This should make it similar to what it already was. Let's just check. So with two DVDs, you can see it's still, still registering movement. And then one DVD is totally, it's just that's normal. So even like the tape was certainly restricting it, this is doing nothing to stop it. This is helping it. So what we want to see is in Synapse, you want to roll it all the way back to one. Two DVDs worth here, still moves. Still a little bit of movement, but it's definitely a lot better. Put it to one DVD. Still going to move here. So on one DVD, it still feels quite normal. It's a little bit of tracking issues, but if it was my opinion, I would say the tape certainly does the least amount of lift off, but it's so minimal compared to the synapsis option here that I'd probably do it in synapsis with a custom calibrated pad and it'll still help you reduce that lift off distance. But even so, you know, compared to a, compared to another mouse, <laughs> 
No lift off issues. G Pro. No lift off issues. So compared to the other mice, the Viper here still has a pretty bad lift off distance, even with some tweaks, but you can improve it using some of those tips. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to see any more, check out my Bearded Bob channel here. I've got plenty of videos with mods and all kinds of stuff on these mice. I'm going to be releasing the Viper Mini review very shortly. In the next few days, we're going to have all the force gauge meter readings for actuation pressing. We're going to tear it down. In some later videos, we're also going to be doing the sensor tests in a bit more detail on here and also latency tests in the review as well. So keep looking out for that. And until the next video, I'll see you again. Cheers. Bye-bye.